welcome to Learn Electronics, your free blog of electronics with video tutorials, articles and a lot of other free stuff. In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform MOSFET DC analysis using LTSPICE. In this short tutorial, I will demonstrate how to design a very uh, simple resistive bias network made up by three resistors, namely RG1, RG2, and RD. The same goal is to bias the MOS transistor with the 0.25 mA drain current and with the 2.5 volts DC drain voltage. I'm going to use in my uh, simulation a 0.5 micron CMOS process. Uh, so the MOS transistor is a, a BTP equal to minus 0.8 volts a process transconductance KP prime equal to 48 uh, micron pairs per squared volt in the transconductance uh, parameter KP equal to 0.5 million per, per squared volt I also see no channel length modulation so that the most transistor channel resistance are all is infinite. In my pencil and paper calculation, I will use a very simple SPICE level 1 model. So, the uh, drain current is uh, related to the process uh, parameter, the transistor aspect ratio, uh, and the uh, VGS through this simple equation. Solving this equation leads to a VGS equal to minus 1.8 volts. I want to compute the gate voltage VG. So VG is equal to 3.2 volts. Okay, the goal is choosing uh, suitable values for uh, resistors RG1 and RG2. So applying a voltage divider on the input mesh uh, leads to a very simple relationship between RG2 and RG1. Namely, RG2 is equal to 1.77 times RG1. So if I choose for RG1 1 mega ohms, this leads to uh, RG2 equal to 1.77 mega ohms. Okay, I want to choose bias resistors uh, very high in order to draw uh, very low currents for the power supply. Applying the ohms law to the output mesh um, allows me to compute a resistance RD. And this leads to RD equal to 10 kilohms. Okay, now I have all the uh, data uh, to set up my schematic for simulation. So if I switch to my schematic, okay, I have uh, input all the values in the uh, of the components. So uh, RG1 is one mega ohm, RG2 one point seventy seven uh, mega ohms. The supply voltage is five volts. The drain resistance is ten kilo ohm. And the transistor M1 aspect ratio uh, may be uh, deduced from the process transconductance and on the transconductance parameters. And is uh, 5.2 um, by uh, divided uh, uh, 0.5 micron. Okay, so the channel width, uh, channel width is 5.2 micron and channel length is uh, uh, 0.5 micron that is the minimum channel length allowed by this technology. Before running the simulation I have to include the uh, SPICE library with the most transistor uh, parameters. To include the SPICE directive, uh, directive I can uh, use this uh, button, the dot op button, 
and uh, um, I also to select the, uh, the analysis I want to perform in my circuit. Okay, in this case I want to perform a very simple DC analysis. Uh, so in LTSPICE, a DC analysis is a dot op analysis. I can uh, include a SPICE directly with uh, the type of analysis using dot op button. Otherwise, uh, I can use the simulate command with the option edit simulation point and choose the DC operation point analysis. To run an analysis, I need to use the running man button. So, if I run the analysis, a new window pops up with the DC uh, current and voltages computed in all the circuit units. I am, I am interested in the drain voltage. I can see that the drain voltage is 2.11 volts approximately. And on the drain current, that is uh, 0.2 uh, milliampers approximately. So uh, the values I, I obtained are a, a little bit smaller than my target value. This is because uh, I used for my uh, estimation a level, a level one model for a short channel transistor. So if I want, I, I may fine, fine tune my, my design to reach the target value. For example, to, uh, to increase uh, the drain current, I may uh, increase the, uh, the overdrive voltage um, by um, decreasing, for example, a resistance RG2 to 1.6 mega ohm, for example. So if I uh, run once again, again the simulation, I can see that the new drying current is uh, 0.24 milliampere, so uh, much closer to my target value. And so is the drain voltage that is now 2.46 volts. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find that this is useful for you, please support Learn Electronics with a donation, a Facebook like, a plus one on Google Plus, or a tweet to your friends. Follow Learn Electronics on the social networks and check the website periodically for new free material. Bye.